Hi, welcome to Cloud Tech Bucket. Today we are going to update HPE DL380 1011 server firmware. To update the server firmware, we need to um, take our present firmware version. So as you can see, we have uh, we have the 2024 on <coughs> release already installed in our server. So to download this firmware, we need to log into the SP support and then look for Gen 11 service pack for Proliant. So I I downloaded the latest version, which is uh, 2025.01.00, and here you can see the important installation instruction and enhancement. So on this release, we have uh, we have two things. Um, one is uh, <clears throat> the ILO firmware versions which will be updated to latest version and some couple of uh, other device like uh, CDDL, the port takes and UEFI all those things will be updated during these versions. So I logged into my server now uh, ILO IP address and then let's log into our virtual console so in, into this um, server i have uh, bmr esx install so prior to updating the firmware i i placed the server into my maintenance mode now i can reboot the server from uh, uh, vcenter console or from the server virtual console okay so before rebooting the server let's connect the virtual cddpd I'm going to CD DVD. Then localize the file. It's in downloads. This is my SPP file. And then open. Okay, now as, a, as you can see, the media, so media is inserted to the server. <coughs> Let's reboot the server. So reboot, to reboot the server, I will use the vCenter console. <coughs> the host is already in maintenance mode. I'll go to power, then reboot. We will have a note here. One more update. Okay, so now we'll come back to console over here. As we have executed the command from the uh, vCenter console, so it will take a couple of minutes or within a second to start rebooting the server. As you can see, it's already started uh, rebooting the server. So during the reboot, we will press F11 to enter the uh, boot menu. From boot menu, we will choose our <coughs> ISO CD DVD as we already mounted the ISO file into CD DVD. Let's wait to um, enter the boot menu. We are pressing F11. As you can see, when you press F11, that menu will be um, pop up and the white sheet will be there so that we can understand the which key we already pressed. So you press F11 within a couple of minutes on the boot menu will be comes up. As you can see, the progress of our system, hardware initializations and all those uh, hardware checking will be passed. And then it will plug into the boot menu. Okay, so the boot menu is comes up. We will scroll down over here, and then we will choose this USB three 
ILO virtual CDDBD. So I'm pressing enter over here. As you can see, it's going to boot from the ISO file. And to update the firmware, we have two options. One is interactive mode and another one is automated mode. So I will choose the automated firmware operation so that uh, the system uh, itself can analyze the baseline and it can match um, the present and uh, requires the updated versions, calculations, and it update all the required uh, upgradation which is available automatically. So we'll wait a couple of minutes over here to uh, load the upgradation of images. So first, uh, it will update the um, packages from my computer to the server RAM disk. So we will see that process into the next screen. As you can see, it's copying the root file system image to RAM disk. So it will take a couple of minutes to copy the files to the RAM disk. The Ramdix copy is successful. Now it's analyzing the system to upload the things. So let me make the screen maximum so that we can see it properly. Or it will take a couple of seconds to analyze the system. It's uh, discovering the server version information which is currently installed into the system. I have um, three steps here. First one is inventory, where it will add the server and uh, analyze the present firma versions. And on step two, it will review the firma version which is uh, already here and what needs to be updated. As you can see, we have total 429 uh, components, and into these component, which firmware is required to update, it will analyze or review on the second step. And on the third step, it will start deploying uh, all the firmware updates. So we'll wait and see uh, how it goes. So step one and step two is completed. So we got up, we got the server inventory and the review, and now it's started the own deployment. So <clears throat> deployment process, it will choose one by one component and it will um, start up updating those things. We will um, need to um, maximum time over here, so it may based on system so <coughs> um it, it takes uh, 20 to 30 minutes or sometimes maybe if you have lots of component into your server so it may take uh, uh 40 to 50 minutes so we, you will have to be patient over here so one thing is um during this upgrade process uh, <coughs> process so you don't need to, uh, to interrupt any kind of thing over here so hp is always recommend to I have the power backup during this upgradation so um, maybe you need to um, have uh, online EPS or any kinds of power backup system so that your system is uh, always up during this upgradation <clears throat> okay so you got on message here as you can see this uh, remote console session has been closed due to firmware update so <clears throat> don't worry um, because your uh, upgradation will not be interrupted as the fun more all the packages are already updated to the um, server MD. So it's it's not a problem during the upgradation process. 
So you can launch the console from here. So the thing is, it's uh, updating the ILO firmware first. That's why uh, it's just, uh, uh, what do you say, disconnecting the remote session. After upgradation, it will uh, reconnect the ILO. So into this ILO session, you will be able to see the upgradation process. Uh, within a couple of minutes, it will pop up here that uh, this upgradation is running. <clears throat> so we'll wait this screen um, so that we can see the upgradation process from here. And one thing uh, I want to show you that uh, our present ILO firmware version is 1.58. So this version will be updated to maybe 1.66 or 1.68. We'll see that. Um, Till then, we will have to wait for a couple of minutes. So, on message, we can see that uh, I look for more is already um, updated. The pop up lines comes up and it's reloading the uh, ILO wave UI. So, we'll see a new screen comes up uh, <coughs> to log in into the ILO. So here you see uh, one message is also there that ILO is being reset. So we'll need to wait a couple of minutes to refresh this page and ILO um, needs to be reset. Okay, we got a message that the ILO firmware version has changed. Please clear the browser cache before continuing. Okay, no worries. So we will reload the browser. Okay, as you can see, uh, into this release of uh, firmware versions, the Compute Ops Manager screen comes up. Mm. <clears throat> it's it's giving some uh, instructions and the facilities which you will have if you uh, use the compute ops manager so it's uh, already a very useful tools from hp as hp has uh, discontinued the hp info site so <clears throat> you can use the hp com compute ops management or rather than the hp info site so it's been introduced this uh, compute ops management uh, where you can get the proactive uh, uh, monitoring and your um, software upgradations and uh, well, <clears throat> and auto case creations all those things are available into the computer ops management okay anyways uh, let's log into the system to see how the upgradation is going on okay so remember previously it was 1.58 now it's showing 1.66 and the release is showing december 30 2024 so that's the latest release uh, which is included into the package of uh, 2025 package okay let's um, connect to the virtual console again It will take a second to come up the virtual console. Okay, so you got the virtual console, and as you can see, um, that uh, integrated light source so six deployment is going on. So I think uh, the deployment is uh, completed, and now it will check the latest version upgradation with the baseline, and after that, it will uh, continue to the uh, next available firmware which needs to be updated so we will <coughs> have a look into the upgradation of
on my as you can see um the sd card for memory updation is going on it will update <coughs> all the uh, device firmwares and then uh, it will uh, reboot the server automatically so you don't need to do any any manual reboots or anything so all the things will be taken care by um, the a smart update manager itself so thank you for watching we'll um, see you soon on another video have a nice time bye bye